Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Dear learners, today we will learn some grammar and we will refresh our already learnt grammar. With me is Kriti and we will together with you uh, do time and tense. Let us take up tenses one after another one by one and discuss. Let us begin Kriti with the sure, sir. Uh, simple present, fine. Okay. Let us not bother about the name, it is called um, simple present, simple present, present tense. tense. So, it is present time. So, we have titled it time and tense. We speak with the reference to time, we speak, use language in the context of time. We, I will say I am sitting with Kirti, I will not say I was sitting with Kirti, yeah. that denotes past, past tense. tense. That okay. now, in order to familiarize ourselves, let us ask some question Kriti. Sure. The questions relating to your routine. At what time you get up every day in the morning? Sir, I get up at 7 in the morning every day. At what time you have your breakfast? I have my breakfast at 10 o'clock in the morning. What do you do on Sundays? I usually uh, sleep till 8 o'clock on Sundays. Okay, you are a late riser on Sundays. Yes, sir. Okay. Where do you live? I live in New Delhi. Okay, where, uh, okay, fine. And where do you live in Delhi? I live in Munirka. Okay, fine. All right. Which fruit you like the most? I like watermelon the most. Fine. And where are you from? I am from Delhi. Fine. All right. That was the routine. Yes, sir. Kriti. So, we said I get up in the morning, I do this, I get up late on Sundays. So, you use some sort of uh, verbs, we, we are not bothered about it now, let us say. Now, here is the routine of a paragraph about Ravi. R what does Ravi do every day, every week or something? So, let us read that, read about Ravi, come on, go sure, ahead. Sure, sir. It appears on your screen learners, just watch as you listen to the reading of Kriti, yeah. Ravi lives in Chhatarpur. he goes for morning walk every day. He plays hockey and likes mangoes. He reaches the school at 8 a.m. every day. He never misses the evening physical exercise class. Every Saturday, he visits the market to buy vegetables. He watches news on TV at 9.30 every day. His grandparents visit his family every month. His family visits the village once in six months. Ravi wishes to be a lawyer when he grows an adult. Very good. Okay. Now, let me also read out learners for your listening as well as noticing something. As I listen, as I, as I read out, please notice the underlined words or phrases. Ravi lives in Chatarpur. He goes for morning walk every day. He plays hockey and likes mangoes. He reaches the school at 8 a.m. every day. He never misses the evening physical exercise class. Every Saturday, he visits the market to buy vegetables with his parents. He watches television news at 9.30 p.m. every day before going to bed. His grandparents visit his family every month. His family visits the village once in six months. Ravi wishes to be a lawyer when he grows, grows up. up. Fine. Look at those underlined words or phrases. Kriti uh, yes, and the learners, uh, look at that every day, every day, every Saturday and every day again, every month, once in six months and you also notice the verbs used there, the action words. Can you say Kriti yes, for sir. the learners, look at the paragraph again, the action words, Ravi lives, lives then goes. goes Plays, yes. likes, likes, misses, misses, visits, visits, watches, yes, visit, yes, visits, mm. wishes, mm. grows. Yes. So, learners, let's see that we are, we have a routine. Whenever we say something to refer to uh, routine activities, we generally use present tense. Before we go on to understand simple present tense, how it is used, let us now learn the objectives of this lesson. Kriti, please read out the objectives for
for the benefit of our learners there and we need to have some objectives so that we understand uh, what we are learning please. Sure sir. Mm -hmm. Objectives of the lesson. At the end of this lesson, learners will be able to understand time and tense and use simple present tense in context. Discover the form simple present tense and use it in speech and writing appropriately. Very good, that is what. Now, I am going to ask you, uh, we have set the objectives also clear for clear to our learners. Now, let us go back to the paragraph again. We have read it twice. So, I am going to ask you just to recall, otherwise we will read again, where does some questions you will have to answer. Okay, sir. Where does Ravi live? Ravi lives in Chhatarpur. Why? What does he do in the morning? He goes for a walk every day in the morning. Okay. What time does Ravi reach the school? He reaches school at 8 a.m. He reaches school at, at 8 a.m. He reaches the school at 8 a.m. Okay. Yes, sir. What does he play? He likes to do a lot of physical exercises. Fine. All right. And which fruit he likes the most? No, sir. Mm -hmm. He actually likes to buy vegetables. And you know, there is no fruit there? Huh, there is also fruit. Oh, he likes it? mangoes a lot. Oh, yeah. He likes the mangoes. Yes. So, which fruit he likes the most? He likes mangoes a lot. Okay, fine. Now, learners, we use simple present to, to refer to actions which are happening regularly. We call it habitual actions. So, I get up in the morning, I have my breakfast at 8 p.m., I go to school at 8.30 a.m., uh, I have my breakfast at uh, 7.30 a.m. and I go to school at 8.30 a.m. like that and I watch television in the evening, I go to physical exercise in the evening, something like that. So, most of the routines we use simple present tense. Now, and is, is that enough to know uh, simple present tense? Now, let us also learn some more context where present tense is used. Look at it. I am going to ask you to read. Uh, which appears on the screen, read some more facts and truths. Look at it, read it. Kirti? Sure, sir. Hmm. Now, let us answer the questions. Read some facts and truths. Hmm. Sun rises in the east. The sun sets in the west. Earth revolves around the sun. Generally, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Every flower has nectar or honey. Gandhiji is the father of nation. Okay, Kriti and learners there, sun rises in the east. It's, it rises in the east for every body. Every day. Everybody. Everybody, uh, every part of the world and nobody will refute this as untruth, as a lie. Then it's sun sets in the west. This is also a universal truth. Earth revolves around the sun. Is it? Yes, sir. It is a universal truth. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius may differ, but generally water boils at 100 degrees. So, if you boil water here or somewhere else, it boils. So, it is a scientific truth also. Then every flower has nectar or honey is also true. Gandhiji is the father of the nation. For the work and the sacrifices he made, he was accepted as father of the nation. So, it is also true. And so, learners, now look at uh, some of the, some more sentences here for your benefit. Here are some more sentences which use simple present tense. Kriti, read them out. Here are the sentences. Sure, sir. Uh. Here comes the train to Kashipur. The boy waters the plants. He plays cricket there. The lady gives a lecture. The police woman is on her beat. The country experiences COVID-19 pandemic. Not only the country, the entire world. The entire yeah. world, yes, yes sir. Yeah. Yeah. James praises Rahim for his work. Fine. Now, look at the sentences again, Kriti. Yes, sir. What are the, let the sentences appear on the screen. Now, you just underline the sentences there, the verbs there, action verbs. What is it? Comes the Comes. train. So, the train is just coming. Coming, yes mm. sir. And the boy waters the plants. So, he, he is just watering. watering. Okay. He plays cricket there. Just now you are noticing Playing. it. Yes sir. The police woman is on a, just she moves. 
and the world experiences, is experiencing, just now it is happening. So, James prizes Rahim for his work. So, just he is saying, just now. So, present tense appears on these occasions. Now, now, let us look at some more sentences in present time, so that learners notice it very well. Let me read out first, then you read out. Sure, sir. The, the train to Mumbai leaves at 4.30 pm. He takes over as the leader tomorrow. His flight departs at 10 pm today. The match starts in the evening. He writes a letter to the Prime Minister. So, could you read uh, again? You, you will notice slightly a difference here, Kiriti. We said some are universal truth, uh, habitual actions, then things which are happening now, you sit with me. Let me tell you, that means happening. Uh, he goes there. Then this recent set of sentences, the last ones are referring to future action, but we are saying it in present. Let us look at it. You read it. Let sure. learners notice the time and the verb. Yeah. The train to Mumbai leaves at 4.30 p.m. He takes over as the leader tomorrow. His flight departs at 10 p.m. The match starts in the evening. He writes a letter to the Prime Minister. Fine. Look at Kriti, the first sentence. The train to Mumbai leaves at 4.30 p.m. Suppose this statement someone says at 1 o'clock or in the morning. It is future action, but we are saying it in present form. Pres present tense. And they say, he takes over as the leader. Newspaper headings, no? The Prime Minister arrives. Hmm. The President yes, arrives. Sir. The flight arrives. The flights from outside India arrive. And the tiger attacks. So, there are many such occasions which refer to future also we use present tense. So, now we will come back to all those occasions where we can use. Now, I am going to ask you to do this activity. Uh, let me read out. And you will have to say which form of the verb will fit to that. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, look at it. Samara is a 12 year old girl. She studies are studied in class 6. Studies. Okay. She likes to play badminton or she liking to play badminton? She likes to play badminton. Her father is a lawyer or was a lawyer? Is a lawyer. And her mother teaches or taught in a school? Teaches in a school. Okay. Samara eats or ate an apple every day. She eats an apple every day. An apple every day. Okay. She swims or swam every evening. She swims every evening. She wants or wanted to be an engineer in future. She wants to be an engineer in the future. She wants to be an, in an engineer in the future. Fine. Now, learners, look at the words used for to describe about Samara. Let me read out. Can you read out with correct form of the verbs? Please. Sure, sir. Yeah. Samara is a 12 year old girl and she studies in class 6th. She likes to play badminton. Her father is a lawyer and her mother teaches in a school. Samara eats an apple every day. She swims every evening. She wants to be an engineer in future. Fine. Learners, let us now slightly discuss. Kriti, tell me, we have seen many occasions simple present could be used. Can you recall from the routines I asked you? So, present tense, where are we using? Firstly, we use simple present tense for habitual actions, routines, then? then Universal truth. Universal truth, scientific truth. Scientific truth. Then? Then actions which are going to happen in the future, but ne we are talking in, in about near, near future. Yes. Very yes. good. Very good. Very good. Then now let's do some more exercises so that uh, our learners also do and understand it. Okay. Let's look at the sentences here. You will have to supply. I read out. You have to supply uh, the most appropriate form which denote present tense. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, look at the sentences there which appear on the screen. Moon goes around or went around the earth. Moon goes around the earth. Floods come or comes during monsoon. Floods come during the monsoon. Floods come during the monsoon. Yes. Because floods plural. 
truth alone wins are won. Truth alone wins. Okay. Learners, let's believe. Uh, what's it? Satya may be jayate. Yes, sir. So Gandhi ji said, truth alone wins at the end of the day, at the end of the events. Where there is a will, or there was a will, there is a way, or there was a way. Where there is a will, there is a way. Okay. Kriti, you must have noticed this is a proverb or an epithet. So, all epithets are also set in present tense. Okay. Then, all that glitters or glittered is not gold. All that glitters is not gold. Okay. This is a proverb. Now, we have seen simple present tense on many occasions. So, learners, you may refer to any textbook or even some grammar exercise book in context. Do not go for the serious, typical, old, traditional grammar book which first tells you the rules, then gives you activities. Now, what we have done here is we have given you, we have drawn your attention towards the rules later and you, you are exposed, engaged with so many occasions in context. So, that is one good thing. So, let me ask you to read out with appropriate verbs, action words, the last one we did, moon goes around the earth, please, so that learners can notice it again. Sure, sir. Moon goes around the earth, floods come during monsoon, truth alone wins, where there is a will, there is a way, all that glitters is not gold. Great, great, great. Now, thank you, thank you, Kriti and learners. So, learners, let us now discover the rules. You must have, we have drawn your attention to us when and where simple present sentence is used. I hope the learners have got it and if they do a bit more exercise in the textbook, from the textbook, workbook, uh, they will understand better. Simple present tense is used. So, simple present tense is used, we now discover the rules. Can you read out the occasions in which present tense is used, occasions to refer to? Come on. Can you read out? Sure, sir. No. Simple present tense is used to refer to an action which takes place regularly or on regular intervals. Okay, let me stop you there. I get up in the morning, habitual actions, I go to bed in the night at 9.30, 10.30, whatever the time. So, and I meet my friends in the evening, I go to buy market every Saturday or every week, these are all routines. Then, Simple present tense is used to refer to general truths scientific truths and universal truths. Okay, that is what. What is the scientific truth? Sun, uh, earth revolves around the sun. sun. Sun rises in the east. It is accepted, nobody will dispute it. Suppose, if you touch fire, it burns. That is true all over the world. It is a universal truth, scientific truths. Atoms can be now split. Once people said it cannot be split. Uh, many, many things. Virus can be infectious, contagious, but there are some good viruses, I do not know. Bacteria are good and bad. Yes, sir. Uh, but I do not know. Virus, we do not know. Mm, uh, viruses are contagious and uh, uh, infectious and people get affected. Uh, affected. Fine. So, it, this is also truth. Now, next occasion where present tense is used. Simple present tense is used to refer to an action taking place at the time of speaking. Right. He plays cricket there, he goes there, here goes the train to Lahore, to Delhi, to Mumbai, so many, many things. Then, so at the time of speaking, then. Simple present tense is used to refer to a future action that is part of fixed timetable or plan. Uh, you said, no, the immediate future. The train leaves at 10 p.m. in the morning, 4.30 p.m. The Prime Minister visits the city tomorrow and uh, American president will visit India. Instead of will visit, uh, we say visits tomorrow, immediate plan, yes, sir. scheduled one. Okay. Then last one. Simple present tense is used to refer to a narrative as substitute for the simple past. Sometimes you refer to a f film you watched, uh, a novel you read. So, the, the hero, he goes there, he marries her, you say in present tense. Yes, you know? sir. Yes, so, sir that they are past events, but you say that, you know, suppose sometimes you say, Gandhiji moves around the world. So, you say, he moved around the world, fine. So, learners, let me also recall once more, simple present tense is used 
for regular habitual actions, universal truths, scientific truths, then an action taking place at the time of I speak now like that you are watching instead of you are watching say you said I move around I go to uh, kind of thing I go to market now future actions tomorrow I will speak to you the train leaves for Mumbai tomorrow like that then and a past event we can use it as present tense well, like we said the hero or whatever whatever we can use it now we have some activities for the learners there with that we will close, but here are very serious activities, let learners understand and if they do not, they can, they have to reflect over oh, what are the occasions present tenses used. Okay. Kriti, here are some more, of, of course, last set of sentences, I will read out, you will have to choose the appropriate action word verb, simple present to fit to them. Okay. My English teacher takes, took, will take an informal test every week. My English teacher takes an informal test every week. Every okay. week. Fine. She meets, she met, she will meet her uncles every weekend. She meets her uncles every weekend. Okay. Ashwin flies, flew or will fly kite now. Ashwin will fly kite now. Okay. No, he is flying it now. So. Aswin flies, flies. Okay, sir. the kite now. Okay, sir. Aswin flies the kite now. Okay. Next, Anita goes, will go to her computer class now. Anita will go to her computer class now. No, present tense. Okay. <laughs> Anita goes to her computer class right now. Right now it is happening. Okay. Anita goes to her computer, computer class, class now. now. My first guitar class starts or started tomorrow. My first guitar class starts tomorrow. Okay. I will read it again. My first guitar class starts or will start tomorrow. My first guitar class starts tomorrow. Okay, it's planned. It's in planned action, so we use present tense. Okay. Now, uh, thank you, Griti. Thank you, learners there You're who, welcome, who sir. have done who have done it. Now, I'm going to ask you uh, both uh, the learners as well as you. Here is a picture, and learners just describe in five seven sentences, five to seven sentences using only simple present. Here is a playground or a park, something like that. Please go ahead. Hmm. So, this is a picture of a playground. Here is a picture in which two boys are playing on the seesaw. Okay, simple present tense. Just say two boys Plays. play. Play, play. Play. Two, mm, mm. Okay, sir. Two boys play badminton. Hmm. One girl is doing exercise. Oh, one girl exercises. Exercises. Mm, yes, okay. sir. Yeah. One girl is riding on the swing, one rides girl. on the swing. On, uh, rides on the swing, not one, two. 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 Jigsa. Okay. Mm. One boy plays hide and seek. Mm. How can one boy play? With, with his, his friends. Oh, fine. All right. Okay, fine. So, like that learners, any picture you take up, try to describe it simple present first. Here is a picture. There is a boy. He moves around. He picks up things. The, 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 supposing if, if you have to describe this room, classroom, so you most of the things you say in simple present. Yes, sir. This room has benches. Uh, benches. Here, the te my teacher is standing. I, I, see, you can't use only one tense in all the sentences. Oh. The, so the, there will be combination of because it refers to various contexts and time meanings also. So, learners, Kriti, uh, thank you very much. Uh, for having participated in a very activity and uh, we hope that we have learnt simple present tense today and when you notice, when you read something, notice present tense and it is also there in your textbooks 6, 7, 8. So, we have meant this class for all 6, 7, 8. Kriti to read out the learning outcomes of this particular unit for learning grammar, here it is. Learning outcomes of this lesson. You will be able to speak and write grammatically correct sentences for a variety of situations using noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, determiners, etc. And this is the part 1 of Grammar in Context, Time and Tense. We will come with the many more parts. We will meet you in part 2 of Time and Tense. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for having me.